Hi Stampin' Friends! Tonight we're going to do the unboxing video for the July through December Stampin' Up! mini catalog. And my order is a little different this time. I mostly got ex all the accessories and all the papers and then I wanted to just get kind of a sampling of what I need right now, not necessarily what I'm going to get for all time because it's still summer. So I just wanted a few things um, this time. And what I have up here right now is a celebration item. We're going to start with celebration. And um, these are the pool party and soft sea foam cards and envelopes. So you can see here the, um, let's see, I'll take them out of the package. I think that'll be easier. This is soft sea foam. It's a really pretty envelope and it's lined with some light envelope paper in the um, pool party. Then on the note cards, I was going to try to grab the two together that are, well, that seems white. I don't know about that. Hmm, maybe that's the other. Okay, so then you have these little note cards that are in um, soft sea foam and the blue and they have little leaves kind of on them. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's just kind of leaves. Um, so to me they, they go with one of the things that is also in the um, July through December catalog but they, they would go with almost anything that you're doing because they, they do kind of recede. They're not really obvious and annoying in any way. So that is one of the $50 choices. So remember, I'm going to go in and show you all of the celebration items first, and then I'm going to show you, well, the ones that I got. This is not a complete list, but this is the ones that I purchased. And then we'll go back in uh, with the rest of the items. Okay, so let me go ahead and push this down so that I can just put things across and you can see them that way. So this little set is the adorable, um, hippest hippos and so they say some cute things like you're so hip you're always on point you're really the best and then um there she's wearing a tutu and she has adorable little um little shoes little ballet shoes and there's one with a flower and then where one is just kind of standing there and then also with that there are these great dies They're the hippo dies, and I don't know if you can exactly tell here, but there's a little wave, like it's water, and then there's like a little boat, and then here there is a tub. So you can make it seem like the little um, cutie hippos are in the tub or in a boat, and then there's goggles and a snorkel, and then there's like a little life preserver, an umbrella. I mean. I think they're going to be so fun to work with. I'll probably drive you guys crazy with it. The next one is this paper here. It is called Rings of Love. And it has floral on this page. The backside is this uh, rather aggressive um, plaid. Then, let's see, I was going to try to do better with this. I was going to try to do two together there. Okay, so this one is um, oak leaves, but then it has almost a blue look here. So it's probably soft succulent with a red and a yellow and a brown. So oak leaves and acorns. The back side of it is this um, blushing bride and green. So, like, maybe I wouldn't use these together, but they're both really pretty on their own. So then this is a nice little bird look. It's kind of cute. And the back side, oh wow, okay. The back side is another nice watercolor look. Then let's see here. Oh, these houses are so cute. I think these will be fun to cut out for a variety of different reasons. You could cut them out and make them into a Christmas scene, getting rid of some of the um the green that's on here, but it wouldn't all necessarily need to be. The back side of that is this um, kind of Middle Eastern look here with um, a tile. Then, gosh, I should have put a little bit of lotion on my hands. This is a um, mushroom and then leaves and berries kind of look. Then on the back side of it is the rings. So that's what this is called is like rings of love. So you could like cut this out. There is a um, 
die set that will cut out some of these, I assume. And then you can write your little um, message or stamp something on there on these little rings. This one definitely looks like a poinsettia to me, so that would be one that you could definitely use at Christmas. And then the back side, I'm going to flip this one around because this is the last one, and it's like little kind of dense trees. So, you, you know, a little bit of it would probably go a long way, maybe down the side, um, just maybe a couple inches on each on the side of a card, but I think that's a really nice one. Then, don't forget anything. Okay, the next thing is the silver and gold 6x6 six six specialty paper. So you can see this one is gold, it's a stripe, and it is single-sided, so um, it will not have anything on the back side of it. Oh, this is nice. This is like a silver uh, polka dot look. And let's see here what we've got. Oh, then there is the silver stripe. Not getting a lot of sparkle there. Sorry about that. I'm probably just not catching it light in the, right in the light. Oh, wow. So this is a whole lot of um, pieces of the same. There are only four patterns. So let me count how many we have of each one. Hi, Dot. It's great to see you. Thank you for hopping by. Two, three. I bet there's six. Let's see. Four, five, six. Yes, there's six of each one in this um in this batch or pack of cards, I mean of paper. All right, then we have, this guy is next. This is the Tree Lot dies. They go very nicely with a stamp set that looks like a Tree Lot in the um, big catalog or the mini, big mini, the, the big, not the celebration brochure, but it has a cute teardrop camper and then it has, gosh, I don't even know what that is. Oh, I guess that's to put like on the top. Then it has this to cut out Christmas lights. It has a dog, lots of trees. And um, then these are trees that can be layered on top of those trees, you know, so you can get some color contrast. There's a sign where, you know, people could um, write their, you know, Christmas, whatever. There's a bow and a um, wreath. So, <coughs> Lots of good variety in this one. <coughs> Excuse me. Alrighty. All this talking dries my throat out. Let's put that away. Then the next thing is all of these that I've shown you so far have been $50 choices. This is a $100 choice. It has kind of like an allium here. It has an iris, some leaves, and and a rose with with thorns, so I'm pretty sure it's a rose. And then the rest of this paper here, so this one is a really nice purple, and the back side of it, let me go ahead and give this a little bit of a tug here. The back side of it is a green sprig, and then here we have some gorgeous, um, different looking flowers, some, I don't know, lilies. I mean, here's what well, that would be kind of like lilies and some other shapes. I mean, this was really kind of pretty. That almost looks like a some kind of clematis or something. Okay, and the back side of it is a purple sprig. Oh, this is a sweet one. This is a mellow moss um, background and then several different, um, oh, there are some, those are those look like orchids and then we have irises and rose lilies like that the back side of this paper is a yellow stripe and then we have this oh such a nice soft pink and it has pink purple and green it's very pretty and of course white very pretty one and the back side of it is a purple kind of a trellis kind of action there um, this one is also a purple with some with this making this look blue, white, yellow, and pink. And the back side of it is a white pattern, almost kind of like wallpaper. That is a white right here. And then this is a, a kind of a spread out. It would be a lot of fun to punch these out or die cut these out and use them as your main image on a card. So I think that would be a really pretty one. And the back side of it is this kind of a kind of an all over print of um, just some little stars in a nice pink. Let's see what colors they say this is because it is kind of
kind of different. Um, Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Melon Mambo, Mossy Meadow, Orchid Oasis, Pear Pizzazz, Rich Razzleberry, Sahara Sand, and Starry Sky. So that's what they think these look like. Then, let's see here. I'm going to show you. This is also in the Celebration catalog. This is a planner that is exclusive to demonstrators. And those who sign up in during celebration, which is this year, July through August, will receive one of these planners. And demonstrators can actually um, can actually get one of these because um, they are allowing us to order them for ourselves if we want to buy them. We don't get them free, but we can order them and buy them. Okay, this is nice. It has a place to tuck something in here. Then this is really nice. They have colored on this um, little sheet protector type thing. I'm sure I'm supposed to pull this out, but I'm not going to do that right now. It's just a little piece of protective um, cardboard. And then here it has some places for you to tuck things in, and then you can also tuck in here. So that is super cute. Then it has, because it is a planner, it has all these tabs, places for you to put things. They're numbered down the side, one, two, three, four, five, six, so I guess for the months of the year. And then different focuses, shopping lists, remember, you know, things like that. And then, let's see, let me go ahead and pop this open. I don't think I'll spill it everywhere. I'm trying to put it in a place that I don't ruin it. So you can see that but it has, um, oh yeah, it starts July. It goes from July um, through 2023 July. So the last little bit there will be, and then looking ahead, creating purpose. I mean, there is a lot to this. Oh, and it's, the several pieces are nicely colored as well. So pretty. Um, then it has some, some glossy inserts for you to divide things for yourself so that you can see, um, these one, two, three, four, five, like that, they're all divided and neat. So I think that I will give this a try and see if it helps me be more organized, but I won't be um, disappointed in Stampin' Up! if it does not. Okay, and this is also goes with it, the Making Plans Notebook Trio. So it has three notebooks that go with this as well. Um, so lots of fun stuff that they're giving us. So I think they're trying to help people um, be able to be organized enough to start a business. Maybe they've heard me complaining that I don't know what I'm doing, so they're trying to help people out. But anyway, I think this it, it's so soft, too. It's beautiful, and its I think it'll be a lot of fun, and I'm going to give it a try and try to be more organized. We'll see. Okay. Now, the other thing in here is the lunch pail that comes with this nourish and flourish kit okay yeah i don't know if this is supposed to be english flourish is misspelled it just says florist but um this is the little kits that you can make it has um lucky to have you just saying hello and i appreciate you more than you know so it has nine cards in the kit let me pop that open just a second now this is actually something you can buy in July. It is kind of a fun little kit. Let's see here. All of the other kits, which are kind of smaller than this one, are on a buy one get one sale in um, June. So this one is of course not included because it's not available till July, but um, a lot of those are um, on a sale. So something to consider. Oh, look how cute those are. So this is like all these little die cuts and little things to put your, oh yeah, that'll be a lot of fun. Then, oh, I forgot something, guys. I knew I was going to do this. I even tried to put it there where I didn't forget. This actually goes back with the making plans. So this is the stamp set that you get with the um, making plans journal, the, you know, well, journal, whatever, notebook, kit that I showed you before. So sorry I messed that up, but it's a clear stamp. It's just clear. So there you can see that. Okay. So then this, let's see, here are our sentiments. Try to, I don't want to lose all this stuff or mix it all together, but I do want you to be able to see things. Let's see. 
Oh yeah, nice. So the, the envelopes are printed on the inside rather than lined. They're just, you know, it's printed on the paper. It's two-sided paper, white and, and the color. And then I'm gonna try to get these. I'm sure this has every language under the sun in here. Here we go, let's see. Oh, nice. This is embossed, so that'll be a lot of fun. Um, so we've got those three um, designs. Then, ooh, this is cute too. Um, this one has, I don't know if I'm getting that because I've got a shadow here. Sorry about that. Um, but you can see this one is kind of a square turned on its side. Here are some sentiments with the just saying hello. I appreciate you more than you know, you know, and I'm just so lucky to know you. So there's three sheets of those there. And then let me try to get out that last sheet here. Oh, it's nice. It has um, like a little fern print. I'm not sure if it's one of the embossing folders or, you know, similar to maybe shrunk down, but it's very pretty. It's very nice. So that is that. I'm going to try to stack these back up so I don't lose them. And then the idea here is that this is a lunch pail that you can use. Um, you know, it's got the um, treated, you know, insides. It's got a little bit of... Um, insulation in there that you can feel so and that zips kind of both ways like that and it's good colors that I like it's got the pretty pool party and uh, petal pinks and coral and yellow so that I think that's a really cute little design so and then it says stampin up on the back so um, it's just kind of cutesy and fun I'm gonna put these back in here so that I don't misplace anything which is, which is great if you're wanting to take this to go it's all ready all right so now we're getting down to the ribbon and the embellishments I'm going to show you those first and they were all available for me to choose so that was kind of fun um let's see here okay first I'll show you these these are the leaf labels and amber gems. So they're kind of a, a shiny, it looks like they're, to me, it looks kind of like when I color with um, the light pumpkin pie. And then these guys, you could tuck it under, but it definitely has a hole in the top that you'll need to use to dangle something from it, however, because it, um, you wouldn't put it down without doing that because of the hole or you could tuck it under the sentiment but right there in the top i feel like you know could we not have been trusted to make our own holes in it i don't know but anyway so that is the leaf labels and amber gem combo pack then next up there are they are called fine sparkle adhesive gems and they're like some of the ones we've had before. We had them in uh, kind of a pink, a champagne, and a white. And um, they have faceting cut into the tops of them. So that's kind of different. Let's see here what we have. Oh, yeah. So we've got a pink, a peach, a blue, and an aqua. So the, these are perfect colors for me again. Um, I think you can see that. I can kind of see that how that they look cut on the top. They're, they're not rough in any way, but the cuts in there just kind of create more sparkle. All right. Then on these ribbons, this is the Soft Sea Foam. Wow, it doesn't tell me how wide it is, but it looks half inch wide to me. So there you go. Yeah, 3 eighths inch. So this is a Soft Sea Foam, and I think it's really pretty. And I would have loved to have this in the spring because it's really pretty. And... It will be gorgeous at Christmas as well to kind of give a, a different look. So anyway, it's, it's a very nice pliable ribbon. Then we have this ribbon, which is, let's see, natural ribbon. And it is woven and it's a quarter inch wide, I mean a half inch wide. This one feels like gauze. It is very, very, very soft and a little bit, it feels a little bit stretchy, but it actually doesn't go out of shape. So kind of cute on that one then this one is really pretty this is gold and let's see what we got on the other side gold satin edged ribbon it's 3 8 inches wide <clears throat> so it has a see-through component in the middle 
Then it has a gold cording, very, very shiny in the middle. And then the edges are just kind of a soft satiny kind of look. So I, I'm sure that this is looking kind of um, a bit much. It's probably hard to see, but it's really pretty and it's it's definitely golden. If it looks green on my screen because of my light, no, it's very, it's very cute. Okay, so then we have this one, which is Balmy Blue, of course, and it is double stitched 3 8 inch ribbon. So what it actually is, you know, it says double stitched, but what is happening here is it's a piece of like a twill, just a plain kind of a soft cotton twill white, and then it has the Balmy Blue over the top. It's kind of a satin. So it's stitched on, looks like probably through the um, ribbon to tie it together. So, but it's really pretty and I, I do like the color. We need, you know, my constant harassment for them is that we need ribbon in every color, a uh, ribbon of some kind in every color. So um, I definitely appreciate that one. Then we have this real red and garden green 3 8 inch ribbon combo pack. So these are real pretty as well. They're very pliable and pretty. Um, that's the garden green and then the real red. Very nice. Then this one is the silver natural trim. So it's a threaded twine. I don't know if I'll, oh no, you can see it. Great. Um, so this has the silver kind of foil trim inside the natural ribbon. So um, it'll be interesting for me to find what exactly I'm supposed to use this with because I'm sure it'll be really cute, but this is very, I mean, I would, you know, tie something up with this. It's, it's very sturdy ribbon. And then this is the iridescent, well, and white, obviously, iridescent trim. It is 3 16 of an inch wide. So it is really pretty. It has this iridescent and there is definitely some white yarn under there so it's nice and sturdy um is this one or the this one bulkier than you would have thought lisa yeah this this is bulky i mean i you could hang a picture with it or something it's very sturdy um this one maybe not quite as much but yeah it's very pretty and i think it'll be fun to use so um, definitely has a lot more substance to it than some we've had in the past yes lisa yeah that it's a bulky twine this one i think will be gorgeous on a lot of uh, Christmas things. All right, so now I'm just going to grab the stamp sets. I did not get very many. I hope you all aren't super disappointed, but I just kind of wanted enough to use for some um, swaps and things like that. So this is my Halloween choice. I chose Best Witches, and so you, know, you can say Best Witches. You put a spell on me, and if you've got it, haunt it. Um, I was just kind of in a coloring mood when I was shopping for what I was going to get. So I think these guys will be a lot of fun to color. Then next is the Rustic Pumpkin Dyes and the Hello Harvest stamp set. So the, the, you can see the stamp set there. That kind of, um, that kind of um, is self-explanatory there. But the dyes, I will show you real quick. There. Oh. I really love this, Lisa. It's so pretty. And this twine, I'm going to need to see some people use it because it's shiny and yet rustic. So it'll be interesting. Maybe I'm supposed to use it with this. Might be very pretty. So there you can see that these rust, these pumpkins are kind of, um, when you cut them out, they'll be a little bit um, like embossed, but not um, exactly, you know, not cut through or anything. And so these things will cut out here as well. And then it cuts out this wishing you the loveliest day with this nice banner. So very cute. All right. And then I have the Christmas Scotty and the matching punch. <clears throat> this will be a lot of fun. And yes, I, I was very excited to get this as well, Lisa. So you'll punch out this one, stamp and punch out. And then I'm guessing you can kiss this. Let's look at it. Yeah, I'm guessing you would. You could ink this up in a color and then kiss the Scotty dog on there. And you won't, you wouldn't necessarily need the punch if you did that. You could punch the Scotty dog out of a plaid that you you might do, but you could also kiss this. You know, get your stamp and ink it, and then stamp it and um, transfer the plaid that way. 
but this has a lot of great um, like embellishment type things with this ribbon through and then what it says is Merry Christmas I guess I need to open it back up you are always loved and may your days be furry and bright and then wolf so wolf wolf I have a terrible time with that it's my country accent okay so there's that and three more of those. Oops, drop the punch, of course. Luckily, it won't hurt it. All right, so here I chose this snowman. And I know we just had a snowman, but you know I couldn't resist this bunny, right? I mean, there's no way I could resist that. And it has some cute things. I love you snow much. Thanks, snow much. Um, thinking of you this season, sending wishes for a cool Christmas, and it's the most magical time of year. So I thought this would be fun to stamp. And then these are just dies. I don't know that I necessarily need to show you these dies because they basically just cut these out. But let's see. Goodness. This one's really in there. Okay. All right, so we have the snowman dies. Oh, this is this was my cool thing that I really liked. You can cut an edge out with this, so you have a little like a little see-through windowy kind of scene, um, with snowflakes on the edges, and then you know you'll look out into the trees and the little snowman. Yeah, that was why I. That's what got me with this. I thought that was super cute. And then here is Peace to You. This is a nice nativity look and then a, a church out, you know, in a snowy field. Um, but it says, Peace to you at Christmas, silent night, holy night. May God's hope and love shine on you this season and the light of the world. Now, what I liked about this is I think it will be easy to stamp this in a dark color, like maybe the starry sky, and just add a little bit of color to... Um, to this part the coloring won't be very intense since most of the stamping here is this would be the starry sky so that's that's one thing that i really liked about that this, this is red rubber so there we go all right and then this one is the christmas lights so it is also red rubber and it has you can stamp these without you know you don't necessarily need the dies for it um, a nice couple of snowflakes and a tree and then some garland. Then this guy, if I can find him, there we are. These are called twinkling lights dies because what they do are, is cut out and then you have you let the color that you have behind it show through. And then also, it cuts out the image. So you could cut it out, put it on something, or you can cut this out and put it on something. And then the same kind of, whoops, just a second. With this, ah, with this snowflake, you can cut out their snowflake over here. And then also, this is the punch through images. And then, you know, these kind of layer here. And so you can see like this, there's some sparkly paper that will look good kind of showing through. So I just had to try this and I liked the fact that there was a snowflake and a tree in the same little set. So I thought that made it a little more practical and made it really easy to use. Okay, and that may be it guys, I think it is. Okay, so that's all the stamp sets and now I'm down to just the paper. So if you're not a paper person, I will not be offended at all. Okay, this is the Festive Foil Specialty Designer Series paper. The reason I'm showing you this is it's not just foil. It has um, texture to it. So this has kind of almost like a star or a snowflake. It has the foil and then it has like matte over it. It's real soft. And so you can just see the sparkles of the um, stars, the red stars. Then this yellow has a sparkle gold on it. Again, I, it's a little shadowy, I'm sorry. And then this, I'll tell you what colors if it says. Let's see, does it say? Yes, cherry cobbler, gold, and soft succulent. This is our Rustic Harvest 12 by 12 designer series paper. So here we have our pumpkins. Let me try to get that picked up. And we have a diagonal stripe. This is on black. It's kind of different from what we've had in the past. And we have a yellow kind of squares turned on their side. Then we have oh, oak leaves and acorns in black. Then, oh yeah, this is, 
this is a pretty pattern here. Um, let's see how far it goes. I wonder if it's just at the bottom or what we've got going here. Oh, no, it's double. So if you're a card maker and not a scrapbooker, you'll get two cards out of each, each um, four inch wide piece. The backside's just a white with gold trim. Oh, and these are some nice gourds. I really like this look. Kind of has a chalkboard kind of a thing going on to me. And then we have this kind of looks like wheat a little bit, but oh, these are so pretty. Okay, then we have a Cajun craze diag, I mean, um, stripe, dotted stripe, and the background is, hmm, looks like Virginia creeper and oak leaves and maybe kind of some maple and aspen, maybe a ginkgo, so there's kind of some white leaves. Those would probably be something I would color with some um, fall colors. And we have, uh, looks like a mossy meadow squirrel, and the background is a gingham, so that's kind of a pretty plaid. So that's that one. Excuse me. Okay, this is a huge thing. This is Gingham Cottage. It's 12 by 12, and there is a lot of this paper. So it has one, two, three, four sheets of this one. So you can see the, the plaids there. And so I'm guessing it has four sheets of this one, which you can see the, they're kind of a watercolor, like you've painted it with a paintbrush different widths of paintbrushes. This looks like a mango melody here, background there. This is definitely a red and white, which could look really nice um, for some of Christmas, but boy, that's wide. This one looks more a little more practical there. And I'll tell you the colors when I'm finished. So it looks like sweet sorbet, but maybe it's not. I'll have to see. Um, then we have this black kind of a trellis and then kind of a kind of a chicken wire kind of look. Not chicken wire, but hardware cloth. And then it looks like we have Blushing Bride, and the back side is like this. And then oh, a nice gray, and then a gray and white here. And then this looks like Halloween, or if you're like me, it's for like Oklahoma State. A nice orange and black, and then this side is just a kind of a nice pale orange. Oh, then we, it looks like we have a mint macaron on the other side. Oh, then we have more. Oh, no, this, this one is different. This one has gray on this side and black on this side. And then we have some green. So this is kind of a small one. Small here and then small there. Then, okay, we're back to, okay, we have black on this side. And then we have an orange trellis on this side. And that is the last one of those. So that is a lot of paper. It'll be interesting to get that out and use it. Okay, let's see. I think this may be the, what is this one called? Black and white designs. So here is a black and gray stripe, and then black and white on the other side. Then we have, oh, black and gray polka dot with black and white on the other side. Then we have a chevron, black and white, and then white and black on the other side. So that, that'll make you kind of loopy. Oh, then a nice harlequin. Or if you like me, my sorority goes this way with the diamond. Um, and then the other side is white and black, very Alice in Wonderland, which is kind of cool. And then again with the white stripe. So this one, this stripe has very various widths, and this is more of a um, the same width across. Then we have some stars in gray and black and white and black. So that will be interesting to you. I think that definitely has a little bit of a Halloween vibe. Then, let's see here. Oh, it's another big thing of paper. Let's get to it next. Let's see here what it is called. I think it's a Christmas one. Um, it is Celebrate Everything. Oh, no, yeah, this is, I think this is several um, holidays. Basic Black, Crushed Curry, Granny Apple Green, Pacific Point, Polished Pink, Pool Party, Poppy Parade, and Shaded Spruce. So, let's see here. Let's see this looks like, oh, and there's more than one. There is four pieces of each one of these. So this side is candy and gingerbread men and um, some holly and maybe some berries. And the back side is really nice pink, um, kind of stylized stars or snowflakes. Then this one is, wow, okay. That one is a scallop that you could use maybe as a summer kind of print. And the back side has a 4th of July look or a Happy New Year. Oh, and these are great. 
These are the little trees here. Sorry, I've got it where you can't see it. Little black and white trees you can color, and the backside is a nice green. Let me turn these sideways. Maybe that'll help me. Ooh, this is cool. This is a really kind of 60s modern kind of look in a million colors. And then the back side of the ornaments is a little um, kind of like a garland of little shoe knot bows. I don't, I don't know if you can see that, but that's what that is. Then we have, oh, this would be great for Halloween as well, um, little stars. And they're probably melon mambo. But the back side is yellow, so maybe they're yellow. It looks like kind of a crushed curry. Then we have a blue, probably Pacific Point. And the back side looks like a, it's it's really dark though. It's either espresso or black. And it's the um, wood grain print. Then here, oh, so cute. Little ghosts and little jack-o'-lanterns. That's adorable. And it has the stars in there as well. And the back side of it is the yellow and white stripe. Then let's see what we have here. Oh, wow, this is kind of a light green and a um, dark green. Aqua and Pacific Point. Okay, then, oh, wow, this is very bright. And um, this side is Granny Apple Green, and the other side is, a, is leaves. And so there's still some green, so you could probably use it for summer or fall. Then, let's see here. Oh, cute. We have colored fireworks, and the back side is triangles of red or sweet sorbet. Oh, then a really nice stripe, kind of a rainbow. And the back side is kind of a green and then a squiggle. And I believe that's, nope, there's one more. Um, this is red and pink striped. Oh, and the back side is a fantastic dot, every color. You can imagine dot, just kind of um, random. So that's really pretty. That'll be great for birthdays. I can't wait to use some of those for birthdays. So, wow, that was a nice big pack. Really enjoyed that one. Then, grab another one here. Okay, uh, y'all make fun of me for getting this one, but I got the gnomes. I just had to see what they look like, and I thought, you know, I probably don't want gnomes for, you know, if it's not your thing, if it's your thing, then great. But if it's not your thing, you know, do you really want an entire gnome set? But I thought, you know, getting the paper makes it kind of fun. So this is storybook gnomes. So you can see some of them have braided hair and then some of them have beards, boys and girls, I guess. And the back side is great for Christmas because it has kind of an intarsia, kind of a uh, print that you would be on a sweater. So that's why I was kind of like, this This has gnomes, but it could do other things. Um, then we have mountains and trees, and the back side is a Pacific Point um, snowflakes. Then we have, if I can get it, well, I guess this is probably what it is, little mushroom homes. Let me turn it where you can see. Little mushroom homes, a little different. They have a door and a window. And then looking at it this way, yeah, it has a little gnome and a little moose and um, some little foxes and a bird and a something else. I'm not really sure what that is. Some kind of little thing. Um, kind of a little prince. And then we have kind of, oh, it must have been a bunny because I can see it now. Um, birds and deer and a moose and foxes. So that's really cute. Those, those would be pretty easy to cut out as well. And the back side of this is these trees, and they're upside down, sorry about that. Oh, and then this nice snowflake. I don't know if that's a pool party or if it's mint macaron, but it's really pretty snowflake print. And then we have the, oh gosh, they're in a snowstorm and standing in front of their houses with mushrooms and all kinds of gnome stuff on that one. Then, let's see here. I can get it. Oh, that'll be it. That'll be the last one. So the, the background um, side is a really pretty uh, variety of snowflakes. And then we have the little mushrooms here with the red tops. So that is a really cute paper. And if you don't necessarily think you'll use the gnomes, I think all of them had something Christmassy to use on the other side, which is great. All right. So... That's Christmas, that's Christmas. What is this? This one is 
splendid day. So this one is a, a specialty paper and it kind of is the one that goes with those um, celebration envelopes that we had. So this side is like a coral kind of, honestly, it looks like um, organic outlines, which I won about 15 years ago at convention, but just kind of some funny little um, leaf shapes. But this side is great. Um, it has kind of white, uh, rather than being, it, it's printed on it and you can feel it. That makes sense. You love the gnomes, Dot. I'm so glad. You, you'll you love them. They're super cute. And they seem very useful. So that'll be fun. So that is kind of a copper color. And then we have one in um, what I think looks like a gold or maybe a champagne. And the back side is a um, soft sea foam. Then we have the back side of this one is fresh freesia. And it's a fresh freesia foil. And it has the um, flowers on it. Then we have, oh, this looks like a silver. Um, so then it has kind of a little bouquet kind of printed on it. Then this one, oh yeah, you know I love this one. Definitely looks pool party, it's so soft and pretty um, with the white um, painted on there that you can feel. And then this backside is gorgeous too, just kind of a watercolor splotches. And then this last one, which was on the top, is another of the bouquets with um, cameo, Calypso coral on the back side. All right, let's see here. What do we have left? We have this one, which is candy canes. Um, sweetest Christmas. <coughs> so this has really tall candy canes. And then a nice diagonal stripe of... Um, Gosh, I guess garden green and real red. Then tiny candy canes, super cute. Another diagonal stripe. Then a diagonal stripe with pool party, real reds. Looks like sweet sorbet and garden green. Let's check my vision on that. Um, garden green, pool party, real red, and sweet sorbet. So there we go. And then our next one, and the back side is a, a kind of a texture, like a textile. You can. It kind of looks like. Um, fabric and then white dots then we have on this one it has kind of green almost like footballs on the back of this one with another diagonal stripe uh, then multicolored candy canes where they're um, green and white and red the back side is a red diagonal uh, it has a, a little pink in there as well and then our last one is this red diagonal and the back side is diagonal square, you know, squares on the diagonal print here. So that'll be fun to use. I think that, that one kind of reminds me of treats. And I think I missed, I did not get the Santa train paper. So cute, but I must have messed up because what I ended up with, and I'll check my order to see what I ask for, but I ended up somehow with two pieces, two packs of this Bows of Holly. So I probably got the numbers messed up. I apologize because that is a super cute set but it was a lot of stuff so I wasn't ready to order all of it yet because I wanted to get all the other things. So this is a nice poinsettia and the back side of it is kind of a watercolor deep red. Then we have poinsettias on white. Hold on let me get them to the side. Poinsettias on white. Very pretty. And the back side is a hmm yeah just kind of watercolor kind of crumb cake. Then this next one has, I guess I went the wrong way with this, uh, some trees, and the back side is a watercolor, multicolor green. Oh, I like that one. Um, this one has holly berries and um, stems, and the back side of it is a stripe. Looks like um, soft succulent on the back side. Then we have, oh good, more, um, just a complete covering. I don't know if you can even, see, yeah, you can see that. Uh, poinsettias, and the back side is a polka dot watercolor of red. And then our last print is this um, white on different greens with some red uh, berries. And the back side is, gosh, that's almost a camo of red and green. So that's kind of fun. It'll be interesting to see if I how I managed to get two of these. So that was dumb. Sorry about that. Our snowflake specialty vellum. 
and it has just has one piece of each one but it has the the soft like um, felted you know the kind of really nice soft um, print on three of the pieces and then it has um, three with a silver so here's kind of a silver iridescent snowflake paper and then a silver iridescent um, dots kind of like if snow is falling okay there's two of those so that's good there's two snowflake papers Let's see are they different oh they're different okay so this is kind of more um, ditzy and this one is kind of in stripes then we have the same thing I'm sure yeah in the um, kind of velvet like white velvet I guess you'd say is on there and then these dots and then the the ones that are in kind of in stripes okay this is lights a glow six by six and this is metallic and shimmer so these are both of course six by six the metallic and shimmer has um, a lot of pretty like almost like glitter is on it that's in the black with white and then we have the kind of a lighter color maybe it's green with gold and then we have, hmm, this reminds me of those um, orange sequins that they had for us. This is a red with orange, so maybe for a fall, maybe cut out some tree shapes out of them, to, you know, like it's leaves. So this one definitely looks, um, these others look great, like they would be great for um, making New Year's type designs. Let me fold this down. What I like to do so this sticky stuff doesn't get on anything else is I just grab a hold of these real quick and pull them and tuck them down like that and stick them to each other because I do not want them sticking to something and ruining it when it's usually that only happens when it's brand new so I'm going to do that with this one this is the lights a glow specialty designer series paper so what it has let's see this is, looks like um, basic black cherry cobbler evening evergreen soft succulent and berry vanilla okay so the back side of this has these little frames to go around things oh let's see I'm not doing that there we go frames to go around and um, so that is part of some of the stuff that is in the lights aglow with the little punch out pieces there is another um, set that I didn't get yet that these kind of go around okay and there we have stars oh that's really pretty um, it's kind of like a like little swags of, of gold beads on there and uh, yeah that's not really picking up sorry about that then the next one is, and oh, kind of this look where it's, you know, in and out of focus and then tiny gold, yeah, you can't see that, I'm sorry, tiny gold snowflakes. Then our next one is tiny white snowflakes with, oh, larger, these are just kind of like some dots. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, dots of gold on there. Oh, hi Cheryl, it's great to see you. Thank you for hopping by. And then the same thing with the green, the in and out of focus kind of thing with, ooh, nice. Okay, these are the trees. Can you, yeah, there we go. Little gold trees, those are super cute. And let's see here, the next one is, okay, kind of a dot stripe again. And the other side again with the garland you can see that kind of looks like a beaded garland on there then we have okay different reds and greens um, could be stars and then this side is a stripe okay yeah there we are with a silver stripe going down as well then let's see if I can get to the next one this is kind of like garlands with stars and beads alternating and then, yeah, could be a mermaid tail for sure, Lisa, that's for sure. And then this is a gold, okay, I'm not doing a good job. There we are. A um, gold um, shiny foil snowflake on there. I really like that one. That's super cute. Then, looks like there's just a couple more. We have the same thing here with the red, but it's um, kind of a soft succulent on this one. And then again with the out of focus kind of thing. Then we have stars with, oh my, with a tree. Oh yeah, there you go, you can see it. I 
kind of scary tree. So, hmm, I'm not really sure about that. Um, maybe that's supposed to be a Halloween one. It's kind of a little bit creepy. And so there we have more snowflakes and the backside is snowflakes, stars, whatever, in the gold. So that's a very pretty one as well. So hopefully the only paper I didn't get was the Santa one. So I'm not really sure how I managed to mess that up, but I sure did. I did not end up with the cute Santa on a train. He was adorable. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, I appreciate you all watching and I hope it helps you kind of make some plans and see, get excited, I guess, for the, um, for the next mini catalog. And I know as well, a lot of times some other demonstrators are like, oh, you shouldn't show that until they can buy it. But the thing is, um, my actual local customers have already placed their orders for June. So July, it's available and celebration is available the next time that they have to place an order. But of course, I always welcome orders anytime, but you know, that's been done locally. So I don't worry too much about showing you things ahead. I think it just adds to the fun. So I thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great weekend. Bye-bye.